Fussel story number 6001. This is one time in Kuwait. You know, we're doing, we're practicing convoy missions, whatever, whatnot. And uh, we were all staying in this little bitty room. There was Fussel. Prior to this, him and Judo got to an argument. I don't know what it was about. But he came up to me and said, Do you like any of these motherfuckers? I said, What'd you say? Do you like any of these motherfuckers? So I looked around and said, I guess they're all right. Then he says, oh, that's cool. So Narvaez, sleeping right on, you know, a couple sleep bags away, thought we were talking shit about him. So Narvaez gets me throw my MRE, which I do, like an idiot. And he looks into it, he goes, hey, Fussel, you know what James says to you about your, behind your back? takes the MRE and goes, they don't like us, they don't like us. <laughs> Acting like it was a mirror, because you know, Fussel always carries his mirror around. And then after that, Fussel sits at my, my feet for about another, I don't know, 10 minutes, sitting there quietly. It was kind of eerie. <sighs> Still get nightmares about it. It was at one time, uh, I'm doing those classes, and uh, at that little convoy charting shit. And I've been carrying around this mirror all damn day. Sarzino had it for some fucking reason. Sarzino tasked me with the task of getting it back to Bustle. I can't fucking find his ass. I have to carry this motherfucker all around everywhere. So we have another class, and I finally see it, and I'm like, Bustle! In the middle of everything, everybody. Bustle! I got your damn mirror. I'm getting it. And he was like, put this shit away. Don't do that in front of everybody. Holy shit, you're gonna kill me, Bustle? <laughs> and afterwards, he's like, man, do you think you'd be hurt yet? And I was like, everybody knows you carry around an admir, dude. And he goes, well, oh, oh, okay. And I said, get that. Weird, uh. right. I know you got one. Yeah. He's gonna kill you, you'll sleep in. Look like he's killing He sees this. He ain't gonna see it. Well, maybe on YouTube or something, but. You see, yeah. Well, I don't know which one to go for. Like, okay, yeah, I'll go for one at the time. We were, we were in El Paso, you know. We just got there. And, uh, he was in the bathroom beside the, beside the dryer. Just sitting there. Just fucking sitting there, chilling. Like, all day. They don't even work. The washing machines didn't work. They don't do that. They fucked up. He was just sitting in there. And I fucking wonder what he was doing. He was walking around. In little circles, you know, walking around and then sitting down a little bit. I was like, hey, what the fuck's this guy doing? And they saw him and said, hey, Matthews. I'm like, give me a second, I gotta fucking piss, dude. <laughs> Walk in the bathroom, I start pissing. He starts walking up while I'm pissing, talking to me. And just like this, just like this, looking at me, you know, my, my dick's in my hand. I'm like, wow, can you just give me a second? And, <laughs> you know, he's just like, hey, uh, so what do you think about, uh, think about Jackson? What the fuck you mean? Uh, can you just give me a second? I'm fucking pissing. Give me a second, dude. And he's like, well, I don't like white girls. I like black girls, and I think I want to. I think I want to be with Jackson. You know, but just a black girl. I want to marry a black girl. It's kind of freaked me out though. Like, randomly <laughs> going to piss, and he just walks up behind me and starts talking to us out of nowhere. So then I try to go to my room, and he fucking follows me. I just close the door behind him. It's in the story. I asked to borrow my razor one time. Oh. While I'm shaving with it. Hey, you mind if I see that after you? I was like, it's, it's kind of unsanitary, dude. And he's like, oh, okay. Have you get Juno up yet? About a fussel story? Yeah. No. He's got a thousand of them. You got a fussel story? Huh? Turn it around yourself. I do have a lot of fussel stories. You got a fussel story? You want to take my fussel story? Good fossil story. What's up? It's a Salas. Is your finger in the way? No. This is Salas with his fossil story. Alright. The best one I have, because I had a lot of them, since I was put in charge of the dumbass for a while. We just got to Camp Taji. 
and we went to go do some in briefing classes on the uh, TIFF. And we just did our, uh, I believe it was the ID cards. And we're outside waiting for everybody to fucking come, come out. And it was me, Fussell, Shivram, Sergeant Reynolds, standing in a circle. Oh, and Sergeant Jones was there. And uh, Sergeant Reynolds fixed Fussell's blouse because it was like this. So he just kind of closed it for Fussell. Fussell tells Sergeant Reynolds, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> so me, being in charge of the little fucker, I tell him, Fussell, you don't ever fucking talk to an NCO that way. You just don't do that. Fussell is about this tall. Not very tall. I'm standing right here telling him, don't you ever talk to an NCO that way. He's gonna come up to me and go, wait, you wanna jump me, motherfucker? You wanna <laughs> jump me? And I just kind of pushed him away. I said, Fussell, get the fuck away from me. And then Shivram starts telling him, Fussell, don't talk to people that way. So then he goes up to Shivram and does the same thing. You wanna jump me too? You wanna jump me? <laughs> Doing all this gangster bullshit, right? Well, I was just about to smack the dude in the fucking face with my fist. When Sergeant Jones jumps in and he's like, Fussell, <laughs> I pulled him away, and he, Sergeant Jones told me to get out of there and go calm down. So I went over there and took a deep breath with the burn pit, and uh, went on away, went about my way. And of course, Fussell didn't get in any trouble because Fussell fucks up so much, there's not enough council statements. Right. <laughs> 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 to put his fucking fuck ups on paper. So they just don't even bother. So that guy gets away scot free with him. But anyways, that was my probably my best closest story. Hey. Riley. So what's up? Give me your fossil story. Alright, my fossil story is I was coming in to take a piss and I walked by fossil and he uh, he was looking at himself in his mirror and as I walked by him I said, Don't worry, you look fine, Fussel. And he looked up at me and said, go fuck yourself, Riley. And he said it in a really, really vulgar manner. So I go up on top of him and I yell back at him, what the fuck did you just say to me? And he had the look of fear in his eyes like a cockroach fixing to be stung. And that's my postal story. You didn't say nothing else after that? He quivered like a little leaf on a tree. Nice. That was a good fossil story. Chris! Yeah! That's gonna, be, that's gonna be the opening line. <laughs> we should get everybody. Fuck you, Fussel. Fuck you, Fussel. Fuck you, Fussel. Yes. Do it again. Fuck you really hard in your fucking ass. Nice. Can you imagine that? Fuck you, Fussel. Double fuck you, Fuzzle. For me, fuck you.